So, you're thinking about moving to PA, but you're not sure what to really expect? Well, in this video, we're going to be going through the reasons not to move to PA. So, first off, the mainline PA is not New England, it is true, but you don't have lobster rolls, there's no Nantucket red pants, some people wear them, but we do have our own version of a sandwich, and maybe you've heard of it, a little thing called a Philly cheesesteak. And while we don't have specific pants, we do have the Liberty Bell. The second reason not to move to the main line if you are looking for the tropics or if you're looking for the full four seasons, there are definitely no palm trees and the temperatures here are moderate, but we do have a beautiful fall but is not as pronounced as New England's with the leaf paper crowding the roads. The third reason not to move to the main line here is that we are not a small provincial town. This is the biggest misconception people have about the main line PA. Sure, there are incredible townships. We have Radnor and Wayne, Villanova, Gladwin, Bryn Mawr and Ardmore, but we are sincerely a truly sophisticated community minutes from downtown Philadelphia and an hour from New York City. Fourth, the main line does not feature a lot of commercial shopping. Since the main line's real estate is so valuable, there are not a ton of commercial shopping lots or malls outside of the King of Prussia area. We like it this way. The main line lifestyle is understated and we have an incredible boutiques that curate a gorgeous selection of clothes and housewares. Lastly, do not move to the main line if you think real estate on the main line is going to be a bargain. This is one of the most competitive markets in the country. Homes on the main line are on average $700,000 and up. Homes in more exclusive neighborhoods such as Villanova and Gladwin are in the multi-millions. So realtors on the main line are in some of the toughest competition as well. Here are some of the reasons to move to the main line PA and why it happens to be pretty expensive. First of all, the schools. The main line is home to some of the most prestigious schools in the country, on par with the schools in Connecticut for preparing kids to Ivy League schools. These are true prep schools. And second, the culture. The main line has an incredible culture and community with arts, satellite programs, community theater, and very well endowed public programs. So we have a really amazing talent in the music of performing arts that are regularly on the main line. But lastly, the real estate values. This is one of the most secure markets in the country. It is not inflated like areas like the Hamptons or LA and Miami housing. These houses are fundamentally based on access to the East Coast epicenters and great, great schools. So another thing is that the lifestyle is so close to the major cities. Everything is within reach on the main line. It is historically one of the wealthiest areas to live in in the US and the amenities and the distinctions that come with it are difficult to overstate. So a few things you should know if you want to move to the main line and buy a house right now. First, you will need to move very quickly. Homes are going under contract in hours, if not a couple days. They're going over asking. Additionally, the terms that we are seeing are without contingencies and preferably cash. And if you're looking to buy, I recommend a budget of at least one million to one five, depending on the type of home that you would like. But here are areas that have the best values. Bryn Mawr, Wayne, Radnor, 
a new town square. And if you're ready to start looking in earnest and are not spooked by these reasons not to move to PA, then I would love to help you start your search for a mainline home. So remember, Kimmy Rouse sells a mainline in local areas. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you share it with a friend or a client. And why not check out the other videos on the screen? Thank you so much. Thank you.